Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on rationalising the denominator of a fraction in this particular form. So we want to simplify this expression here. Now the previous video we did one pretty much like this. The only difference is that we now have numbers in front of the certs, but the principle remains the same. And to remember what we did, we just multiplied the top and bottom of this fraction by what's known as the conjugate of the denominator. So if we look at the denominator and we basically put brackets around it first and then we multiply it by the same but whatever the sign is in the middle we change it so the plus becomes minus and if it was a minus it would become a plus and we have the same around it so the conjugate as it's known of 2 plus 3 root 5 is 2 minus 3 root 5 and remember, whatever we multiply the bottom of the fraction by, we have to multiply the top of the fraction by exactly the same thing. Just a bit like if I had, say, two thirds, and I multiply top and bottom by four, that gives you eight over 12, which is the same. Eight over 12 is the same as two over three. So we haven't changed the value of this fraction by multiplying top and bottom by two minus three root five. And then we just need to multiply these brackets out, top and bottom. So let's deal with the top. We multiply each thing in the first bracket by each thing in the second. So we do first thing times first thing, first thing times second thing, first. 13 lots of root five times two. Well, remember we multiply the non thirds first. 13 times two is 26. And then we multiply the thirds. We've only got the root five there, so it's root five. And now we do 13 root five times minus three root five. I like to get the sign right first. Well, positive times negative is negative. And then we multiply the non thirds first. 13 times three is 39. And then I multiply the thirds. So root five times root five is root 25. We'll simplify that later. Then we do the second thing times each thing in the second bracket. So we've got the minus five times two, which is minus 10. And we've got the minus five times minus three root five. Negative times negative is positive. The 5 times the 3 is 15, and then we've got that root 5 there. So that's a numerator, which we'll simplify. And then we next deal with the denominator. So we do the first thing in the first bracket times each thing's in the second. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus 3 root 5 is minus 6 root 5. And then the second thing times each of these things. So 3 root 5 times 2 is plus 6 root 5. And then 3 root 5 times minus 3 root 5, well, positive times negative is negative. And then we times the non thirds together, 3 times 3 is 9. And then we times the thirds together, root 5 times root 5 is root 25. And now let's just simplify. Note that root 25, because 25 is a square number, that's just 5. And 39 times 5, I'll cheat by using my calculator, is 195. So we have 26 root 5 minus 195 minus 10 plus 15 root 5 and what's the bottom well notice the minus 6 root 5 and the plus 6 root 5 just cancel and root 25 is 5 5 times 9 is 45 so we've got 4 minus 45 at the bottom and let's still simplify the top Let's collect the non thirds together first. We've got minus 195 minus 10, which is minus 205. And then we've got the 26 root 5 plus the 15 root 5. That's plus 41, lots of root 5. And then 4 minus 45 is minus 41. Oh, now this looks like it might simplify because we could divide each of these things at the top by the minus 41. If you divide the minus 205 by minus 41, it divides exactly, you get positive 5, negative divided by negative is positive. And if you divide 41 lots of root 5 by minus 41, remember how we divide thirds, we multiply the non-thirds first, so 41 divided by minus 41 is minus 1. And then we've still got that root 5 there, so we get that. Or we could write that as just 5 minus root 5. So that is the final answer.